This might be elk. Oh my gosh, how lucky. I think it's bigger than mule deer. This looks like tule elk droppings, and you can see how tiny they are as the elk is moving through this landscape. Elk droppings. It's a little different it's than a, the uh, cow poop we saw. Yeah, it's a little different than the cow poop that we we're seeing. So if you want to know the difference between cow and elk, here we go. So I'll use that as an opportunity to show footage that I have of both animals defecating here in Point Reyes National Seashore. And I'm subjecting you to this graphic footage because the pro-grazing side will actually try to claim that these two grazing animals are similar or comparable. Mm, just look at that enhanced habitat. And here's a tule elk. That's not smothering the grass or the biological soil crust. It's small, it breaks up a lot faster, and there's just less of it because elk are not being fed supplemental hay and silage and grain and gallons and gallons of extra water. These elk have to fend for themselves in somewhat of a difficult landscape with low quality uh, coyote brush and they'll eat it. They'll eat the fiber, they'll eat these native plants. They're co-evolved for this landscape. We're not perpetually keeping the elk pregnant and stealing their milk from them. That's right. And so they only have one or two calves maybe every year, but they're not um, being overfed and then producing tons of manure every year in our national park. They're producing pounds, not tons. <laughs>